talking about faith in terms of the Pure Land Buddhism. We have three pillars of Pure Land Buddhism. One is called faith, two is called vow, three is called practice. Faith, it consists of six faith. According to the ninth patriarch of Pure Land Buddhism, Master O E. Commentary on the Amitabha Sutra. It tells us if you really have faith in Pure Land Buddhism, you gotta have faith in this sixth truth. First, you have to believe in who? Yourself. <laughs> yes, there's no difference between you and Amitabha. So you have to believe you are Amitabha. Believe in yourself means there's no difference between the you right now and the real Amitabha. You and Amitabha are one. Where? In your mind. Amitabha is not a person outside of you. Amitabha is who? It's your own mind. A lot of people don't understand Pure Land Buddhism. All they know is Amitabha is going to come get you. They don't understand their true nature. Okay, so believe in yourself is believe in your true suchness. Your true suchness is the same as Amitabha and all Buddhas. There is no separation between you and Buddha. So when you chant Amitabha, is it very close to your heart now? Yeah. It's yes. not somewhere you pray, oh please come help me. Not like that. Yeah. Pray or chant, go inward to your true nature. So that's the first belief you have to have faith in. Second, you gotta believe in others. There is the Buddha outside of you. So you believe in yourself, but you also believe there's a real person named Amitabha. Mm -hmm. He really lived in this world just like I lived in this world. He really made 48 great vows to create the Western Pure Land. I believe in this person. So you believe in others. This is all Buddhas. And you believe that Shakyamuni Buddha, he said there is Amitabha in the Western Pure Land. He's expanding the Dharma right now. Do you believe he's doing that right now? Yes. There's a real vivid life person. All the Buddha really exist because Buddha do not lie. So was Shakyamuni Buddha lie? No. So we believe in Shakyamuni Buddha, that's called the others. And we believe in Amitabha Buddha, he really made vows. And we believe in Buddha from six directions. They are here to prove there is a pure land. They are here to prove there is Amitabha. They are here to prove that we can really go there when we chant his name. Because that's how great this Pure Land Buddhism is. <coughs> All the Buddha from the six directions, they come to support Amitabha. This faith is to give you power. Number three, believe in the cause. What is the cause? Chant Chanting Chant Amitabha. Recitation, reciting the name, or we call chanting. So the cause is chanting, the effect is going to the pure land. Why do we need to go? To become a saint, to become a real Buddha. Our only goal is to become a Buddha. That's why you learn Buddhism. Everybody will become Buddha eventually. It's just sooner or later. But if you go to the pure land, it's much sooner than you just cultivate by yourself. You will not have defilement over there because everything is perfect over there. And you will reach Buddha very, very soon. It's like the time has been minimized by a lot. Kale plus of time have been diminished to very soon. Okay, Very soon and come back and be a true Buddha or Bodhisattva to come save all sentient beings. So we need to go there fast and come back fast. That's our vow. And we need to believe in a phenomenon. So you gotta believe in the physical world. 10,000 Buddha lands away, there is a place just like America and there is Taiwan, there's China. Do you believe in these places? Yes. You've been there? Yes. <laughs> okay, Pure Land is a real place. We gotta believe in the inner truth. Where does the phenomenon come from? From, from the heart, from the mind, the true suchness. The inner truth basically is the same as believing in the self, right? And the others is basically the same as what? They believe there's a world outside, right? So self and inner truth is the same. And others and phenomena is the same. 
You got to believe both. That's true, proper belief, faith in Pure Land Buddhism. If you don't have these six, then you don't really know Pure Land Buddhism. Okay? Even if you chant Amitabha a thousand times, you still don't have faith. In fact, it's also believing a third and the pure land and the phenomena. The cause means we believe in the power of the Dharma, the incredible power of this name. Amitabha, he said, eons of sacrificing for all sentient beings, I put this power in these four syllables. Amitabha. As long as you chant it, I give it all to you. There's no difference between my merit and your merit. I give all my merits to you. It has real power in this name. Don't look down on this name. This name is incredible power. If I chant, mommy, 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 does it have a power? Yeah, maybe. No. Maybe. <laughs> because my mom is not a Buddha, right? But Buddha, when you call his name, he can really come help you. You got to believe wholeheartedly that as long as I chant this name, it has this special power. If you don't believe in it, then it, it's just a name. A three-year-old little boy can chant Amitabha, Amitabha, but they don't know what it means, right? Mm -hmm. Then it has no power. But if he believes in this power, then it will have power, right? So the power comes from what? Our mind. Your mind is the most powerful thing in the world. And your mind having faith. That's the most incredible power. So you believe in the power of chanting, and you believe in your own nature, and you believe outside there's other forces helping us, then wow, you are a superman. The whole universe is helping you, and you are helping yourself, and you have the name Amitabha, wow, you're all set. Mm -hmm. Better than winning the lottery. <laughs> so when you really understand the sixth phase, you don't need anything else. You know what you're doing. You know how to leave the sixth round of incarnation. You already found the way of becoming a saint. Then we gotta have vows. What is your wish? When we graduate from college, what do we want? We want to have a good job. <laughs> <laughs> have the best career, right? That's what we really want. Okay. Some people want to win the Olympics. They train all their lives. They want to win the gold medal. What is your life goal? What do you want to do? Our goal is to do what? To become a Buddha, a seer. You want to become a Buddha, there's two parts. First, you gotta detach from the mundane world. Basically, detach from yourself, from this attachment to the self. I really don't want to live this mundane life anymore. It's not hating this place. It's just hating being attached to self. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hating myself, having so much defilement, being so selfish, having so much problem with everybody, or having so much opinion. I have enough of this incarnation. I want to be a saint. I want to be a Buddha. I have enough. Okay. Number two, seeking the pure land joyously. I really want to become a Buddha. I don't want to go there to play. I want to go there so I don't have to be in the sick place anymore. That is the fastest place for me to become a Buddha, right? It's like you jumping grades. You know, those child prodigy, 10 years old, they can go to college, right? So going to the Pure Land is like the fast route. By going to the Pure Land, I know I'm going to become Buddha so fast, it's incredible. When you're dying, you can still remember this. Remember your vows. Wow, it's time for me to go to the Pure Land and become a Buddha. Will you be sad about leaving this body? No. no. Doesn't matter anymore. You just leave it. Just leave it. It's dying. Its cause condition is up. It's dying. So let it go. Just want to go. Because finally it's time for me to become a Buddha. I cultivated for so long. I'm still reincarnating. I had enough. No more. Okay, it's time for me to leave the reincarnation, leave samsara. I want to become a saint, a Buddha, ultimately reach real nirvana. So this vow is more like an attitude, right? How should you carry yourself in this world right now? No matter how old you are, this is an attitude of, of life. 
I want to leave reincarnation and get rid of my attachment to the self and I want to become a saint. I don't want to keep having defilements, greed, anger, ignorance. I don't want this life. I want to be a saint that is pure, that is aligned with my true nature, kind and great compassion and all the wisdom in the world. That's the normal me. So you make a decision. No matter how old you are, you make a decision. That's your vow. Okay. Lastly, we need to practice reciting Amitabha name single-mindedly. No more scattered mind. Amitabha. Every syllable is very clear. Nothing else coming inside of your mind except Amitabha. 10 minutes or 20 minutes. That 10 minutes, that 20 minutes, there's nothing else coming in. Only Amitabha. That way you train yourself, even when you're very sick and you are dying, you can still chant. So how do we know we're single-minded? Some people, they can chant Amitabha in their dreams. Wow. All the patriarchs, they say, if you cannot chant Amitabha in your dreams, the moment you wake up, you should bow to Buddha so your head is bleeding. That's how deeply your practice should be. Okay. If you can chant in your dream, then you can chant when you're sick. Because yes. when you're sick, chant Amitabha single-mindedly, it's almost impossible. It's very hard. But if you focus your whole life on this, then at your dying moment, you'll be able to. It's serious matter because you only die one time, right? Can you do it many times? No. no. <laughs> you only have one chance. That is when you're dying. If you become unmindful all of a sudden, you will not go to the three lower. If you start thinking about your loved ones, uh, oh, you cannot go. <laughs> if you think about your money, uh, you go. <laughs> so today we're not done with this, but we talked about Pure Land. I already gave you the extra bonus, okay? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you.